Okay, I think my lens is all steamed up. Um, oh well, good morning. We have awoken from our, our um, trolls camp under the bridge. It was pretty loud. It was okay, but it was a bit loud at times. Pretty moist down here, as you can tell from the condensation on the lens. Uh, but in about 25k, we're going to be in Bichino. Bichino? Bichino? I'm going to go with Bichino, I think. Um, it seems like there's quite a lot to see there. There's like um, a blowhole and a bunch of lookouts and stuff. I think they have some like whaling history stuff. So um, uh, we'll get this camp packed up and uh, head that way. Bye bye little river camp. Bye bye little river. Thank you. Oh, there's a bird down there. Bye birds. We're about halfway to Bishino now and um, Gotta say, I'm looking forward to maybe having something hot to eat and hot to drink. This cold is just not doing my current sickness any good. It's really rough. My nose has been like bleeding and everything. It's just, uh... anyway, enough of that. I think it's another 12K to Bishino. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. On the way to Bishno, we found this really cute cafe called the Pondering Frog. So we stopped and had ice cream for breakfast, as you do. And then we went outside and got acquainted with the locals. Weirdo. What's up, goatee? He's friendly. Oh, he likes to be there. <laughs> he likes a head rub. Oh, you like a head rub, don't you? <laughs> He's so beautiful. Oh. He's pretty friendly. Oh, I love him. <laughs> he likes a head rub. He does, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh, you're such a beaut. Yeah, you're doing. Very look, handsome goat. Your name is Mr. Ricky. They just thought it'd be padded. Look at him. Oh, what are you doing? He wants the pads. Apple, <laughs> 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 okay. Apple. Yeah, careful. Pretty quirky place. The guy in there is a total legend. He like broke broke out some maps and like showed us uh, some good routes that we could take and like where there's some good campsites and stuff. Food was good, and we finished off with some ice cream. So yeah, what can you say? Good stop. Uh, they let RVs camp there, but you have to be self-contained, which is a real shame because it would have been nice to camp there last night, but uh, not allowed. So onwards to Bishano. Okay, we are just arriving in Bishino. Uh Yeah, I think um, one of these turns up ahead leads us down to the blowhole, so let's go and have a look. Penguin? Penguin, what? Penguin. Yeah, this is maybe where we want to be. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, look, there's penguins on the signs. at the site of the blowhole. There's a little track to walk down here. Apparently there's penguins too. Let's uh, see if we can see. Oh, there it is. Oh, I totally missed it. <laughs> so 
Okay, so that's the blowhole. Um, tide comes in, the rocks are formed in such a way that when it comes in, it all rushes in, it shoots up like a whale's blowhole. Um, yeah, we've seen stuff like that before. What is interesting is you can see we're getting to the start of the Bay of Fires. All the rocks down there have this like really interesting like orange hue to them, which I believe is uh, caused by some form of lichen. Um, so that's going to increase as we go up the coast and make our way to the Bay of Fires which um, we're both pretty excited about. Okay, so we have stopped for uh, another very late lunch at the, um, what's this called, like the Lagoon Beach camping area. Um, we got in here and um, we saw a sign for the day use area, so we thought, oh cool, there'll be like some picnic tables and stuff, but it's, it's literally just like a car park. There's nothing here, there's some drop dunnies, but there's no benches, no nothing anywhere, so we just sat um, having some refried bean wraps uh, just on the rocks here. On the way here, we were looking and there's like loads of great camping. It's all like private land and pasture and stuff, but um, like if you were stuck, there's like loads of really nice spots out here. However, we think we're gonna chance this brewery that's down the way. Um, they offer free camping. However, it's, um, it's meant to be self-contained only, but we reckon if we go in and buy a beer and maybe banter them, maybe they'll let us camp there. If not, they might have a suggestion. If that fails, if they don't offer us anywhere, then we're drinking those beers as fast as we can. And we're going to hit hit the road and go to Scamander because there's a free camp out that way. But um, yeah, I reckon it'll be sort of dark when we get there, which won't be ideal. Um, yeah, anyway, let's go. Excuse the wind, but uh, we're just coming up to the brewery now. Let's see what happens. By the time we got to the Iron House Brewery, it was quite late in the evening, but we were still in time to have some beers and some hummus and dip, which was nice, and enjoy the beautiful sunset. Okay, we'll see how this bit of footage comes out because it's getting pretty dark now. Uh, we tried out the brewery for a place to camp and no go. It's a winery, you know, they call it uh, White Sands Estate. So yeah, a bit hoity-toity, they're not gonna let people just camp there like us. Um, so, good sunset when we left though, beautiful sunset, really nice place, very scenic. Anyway, um, so Bonnie spotted, sorry for the wind, Bonnie spotted on the map that there's this, um, this like reserve down here, and we found like this little road on, on satellite view that like leads up to this like bit of green space by the beach. So we're on our way there now. Um, and we're gonna like try that out for a little stealth camp. We'll see how we go. Okay, just like uh, 5K along the road from the brewery, we found this um, like little park. There's like a cricket, cricket field, like just over there. Um, and we found this like little cubby over here that we're gonna pack the, uh, set the tent up. Um, you're not allowed to camp here, but like 
you know, like whenever they say no camping, I kind of feel like they're just talking about people coming with their caravans and like dumping their chemical toilets everywhere. Like we're gonna be in and out, no one's gonna know we're here. So uh, anyway, yeah, let's go, stealth camp.